Welcome back to my workshop. Now today, as part of a bigger project, which is in this box, uh, I've had to go out and buy one of these, which is a Draper infrared thermometer. Okay, it's a 15101. Okay, so I've had to buy this because I need to use it on this project. So what I'm gonna do is quickly get this out of the box uh, and have a look and see how to use it. Okay, as I say, this is the uh, Draper infrared thermometer. It's a 15101. Uh, now I bought this from Tool Station uh, and it cost me 31 pounds. Now it appears these things are getting harder to get hold of because I think everyone is using them now to monitor the temperatures around their house. Uh, I needed this one. It's not the same as the ones they used during the uh, pandemic for measuring your forehead temperature. Uh, because this one actually goes from 50 degrees or minus 50 degrees up to 550 degrees okay so i needed this so let's get it out of the box uh, well out of the container and what do we get we actually get the gun itself we get some words and we get a battery uh, so i think the first thing i'll do is i'll put the battery in this okay let's come here Okay, so the battery's in. Uh, right, so on the back, what we've got is get into focus. Okay, we've got a backlight. We've got the change between centigrade and Fahrenheit. And we've got the laser. Okay, that's all we've got on the side there. Um, nothing else on the top. Uh, it's hard plastic. Uh, we've just got the trigger here. And then obviously in there we have the sensor. Okay, I'll see if I can get in there to have a look in a second. Uh, but that's basically all you get. Okay, the instructions, uh, probably very simple. Okay, it gives you uh, details of what's on the display uh, and also the range, which I'll cover in a second. And it shows you how to install the battery. Okay, so nothing much there. And this is a love note which says it's a declaration of conformity okay so that's all we got so how do we use it right so to actually use it when you put the batteries in you've got a blank screen as soon as you pull the trigger okay like that then the screen comes alive okay which is fairly simple it stays alight for about uh, 10 just over 10 seconds and then it should go off on its own which means if you do use it and you put it back in your toolbox, then you won't get a flat battery in theory. Okay, so push the button again. Backlight should do what it says on a tin. Okay, it literally gives you back LED. Okay, up here where it says hold, it's just showing you that the, uh, the static number you're seeing there is not going to change regardless of what you point it at. And if you pull the trigger, it goes on to scan. Okay, which tells you that that is a lifetime reading. Okay, so whatever you're pointing at, it will change. Okay, as soon as you let go, it goes on to hold. That will stay on the screen until the screen goes off. Okay, uh, obviously down the bottom here, centigrade and Fahrenheit, it just changes over the range here. Fahrenheit for you lovely American people, centigrade for Europe, etc., etc. Okay, I use centigrade because that's what I'm used to. And the laser okay this little button here uh, when you push it you can see the little laser dot there it doesn't actually measure at the laser it doesn't use the laser for measuring that's just for guidance okay so you can turn the laser off so now there's no laser back on okay so it doesn't actually use the laser to do the measurement it's just for guidance okay the measurement is actually done by in here let's get some light on the subject Okay, so looking down the end, whatever you do, don't do this and then pull the trigger with the laser turned on because you will blind yourself. Okay, but if you look inside there, at the bottom, you can see, and that's an infrared sensor. Okay, that's what's actually taking the readings. Okay, it's not the laser, the laser is just for guidance. Okay, remember, don't stare at this laser, it will make bad things happen to your eyes. 
Okay, so there's nothing really complicated about the tool itself. Uh, you basically point it at what you want to measure, you pull the trigger, and it tells you how hot it is. Now, how accurate is it going to be? Yeah, obviously, the ones that you measure against your forehead, you're fairly close, but how close have you got to be with this? Now, on the back and on the side here, uh, it tells you what's actually been measured when you pull the trigger. Uh, I'll do a little demonstration to give you an idea of how accurate it is. Okay, so to give you an idea of how accurate it is, here's our meter here, or our gun. Okay, this is one and a half meters long, okay, to this point over here. Okay, so basically the further away you are, the less accurate it is. Now, to show you what area it measures, it's written on the gun, but you can see here, right, at 300 mil, it measures that big, okay, which is 38 millimeters. Okay, now at 900 millimeters, it measures an area that big, which is 75 millimeters. Okay, that's at 90. Okay, and at one and a half meters, it will measure an area of that big, which is 132 millimeters. Okay, so that's there. So as you can see, as you get further and further away, it measures a larger area, okay? Now, the problem is then, if you're using it close, you can direct it or exactly what you're measuring, but then the further away you get, it's gonna sample an area wider, okay? So your readings will be less. So let me give you a quick demonstration on how big that actually looks in real life. Okay, to give you some idea of its accuracy, uh, if I was to be measuring this motor on my bandsaw here, uh, and I measured it from a foot away, so basically 30 centimeters away, the size accuracy I would get would be this. So I could measure that much accuracy, okay? So where my laser is, I'll get that much accuracy. Now, obviously, if I move away to 900 mil away, okay, so it's nearly a meter away, I'm gonna get that kind of accuracy, okay? So that whole area there, I'll be measuring. But if I were to stand a meter and a half away, what I'm going to get, okay, is that kind of accuracy. Now that obviously then also measures this, which on this, in this case, this is metal as well. But this we will be colder than this, okay? So you won't actually be measuring just the motor, you'll be measuring the surrounding area, okay? And there could be a massive temperature difference between this and this, okay? So it's something to bear in mind. So basically, the closer you are, the more accurate you're gonna be, okay? In this case, 14.9 degrees. Okay, so just to confirm that it's not actually the laser that takes the measurement, the laser is just for guidance. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my compressor, which has been on. Uh, I'm just gonna measure it with the laser turned on and with the laser turned off to make sure it's not the laser that's actually doing the measuring. Okay, so my compressor's been on. Uh, the reason I'm using the compressor is because everything else in the workshop is freezing cold. Uh, right, turn it on. Okay, the laser is turned on. If I fire it at it from about a foot away, okay, 20.7 degrees. Okay, hold that. Can then focus, 20.7 degrees. Okay, now I'll quickly fire and measure something else. Okay, so it's back to 14 degrees. Now, if I turn the laser off, okay, my little laser symbol here disappears. So if I measure it again, it should give me the same reading. Okay, 20.3. Okay, so let's just to demonstrate that the uh, laser isn't actually doing the measuring. What's doing the measuring is the infrared sensor in there. Okay, so let's see how responsive this thing is. Uh, let's point it at a heater. Okay, so what I've got here is my little uh, three kilowatt heater. It's off, it's cold, it's the same as the ambient temperature of the room. Okay, so if we have a quick look at this here. Okay, 14. About 14 degrees. Okay, so I'm about six or 700 millimeters away from it, but that should give me a good enough reading. 
Okay, let's turn it on. And hopefully you can still hear me. Now we're going to hold this as still as possible. Get it so you can see it. Okay. Now this is obviously going to gradually heat up. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay. So it's reading at lifetime as the heater warms up. Okay, it's accurate enough for most people, and most uses. Okay, and I can assure you it's not 69 degrees in the workshop, it's still only about 13, 14 degrees. Okay, but that gives you an idea of how responsive it is. All right, I think that's about it. Right, so that's about it. Um, it was a quick look at this, which is the Draper 15101. Uh, infrared thermostat okay this hopefully will do exactly what i need it to do uh, it's not the most expensive but it's definitely not the cheapest okay uh, as i say this is about 31 pounds it's now the beginning of 2023 um, there are much much better ones uh, but there are some really rubbish cheap ones okay this will do me fine uh, i should try my next project which hopefully will be the next video All right thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye. Okay, so there's nothing actually complicated about the tool itself. You basically push it. You push it. You push it. Is what I'm reading, which is quite accurate. And then the compressor goes up. The uh, tool itself. Let's do that again because it was a bit. Blah, 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 blah.